Graham's first crusades were funded by people in the establishment, the Vanderbilts, the Rockefellers, the Whitney's, and Chase Manhattan Bank. William Randolph Hearst's media empire was responsible for publishing glowing reviews of his crusades. Just because Billy Graham does good things or preaches the gospel does not mean he is not part of the network or the establishment. Remember, Gnostic philosophy requires them to do good deeds to offset their bad ones. Some of the greatest philanthropists are also some of the highest ranking Satanists. Billy Graham publicly supported the ecumenical mission of the World Council of Churches and the National Council of Churches. Their mission is to combine all churches into one, unity. Billy Graham did more than anyone to bring about the One World Church. Christians have been conditioned to believe that Billy Graham is a great prophet of God by the establishment media, which, in reality, he was a 33rd degree brother man who had many angelic attachments and was given an honorary knighthood by the order of the British Empire. He was allowed to be with every president from Truman to Trump and was called America's pastor. I mean, do you really think that the establishment would allow presidents and powerful people like Billy Graham? If there was any danger, he would actually bring someone to Christ? No. They'd get rid of him one way or another. They wouldn't be praising him. The same way that the Pope is venerated and loved by the world, whereas the truth and the real Jesus Christ and his teachings are trampled on and despised. Graham's crusades were like concerts. Most of the people there were his fans. People who've never heard of a band's music usually don't show up. Most of the attendees were already Christians, and most decisions were for trivial things like quitting smoking. After a crusade in Scotland, for example, churches there noticed a decline in membership, not the promised increase by the crusade staff. But when the media reported on the crusades, they made it seem as though thousands of people became new Christians. On May 28th of 1978, in the Japanese newspaper Mainichi Daily News, Graham said, I think communism's appeal to youth is its structure and promise of a future utopia. Mao Zedong's eight precepts are basically the same as Ten Commandments. In fact, if we can't have the Ten Commandments read in the schools, I'll settle for Mao's precepts. Jesus said, Woe to you when all men speak well of you, for so did the fathers to the false prophets. In terms of a paper trail, we have the following. Billy Graham's books consistently refer to basically only brothers. Billy Graham endorsed the Brother Manic Demolay program of Youth as God's Work. This endorsement by Billy Graham is in a Brother Man book that is used to educate people about the craft. That book is The Clergy and the Craft, and it says that the people who are quoted in it are brothers. His closest